Hello, my name is Yona Ambalevula, a principal investigator of a study titled Occurrence of anti d antibodies among pregnant women in Kasi District, Western Uganda. I'm a medical laboratory scientific officer working with Mbarara University of Science and Technology. Rachel's d immunization has been a focus of concern for obstetrician and hematologists for centuries because of Rachel's hemolytic disease. Anti D allo immunization, which is as a result of the presence of allo antibodies, commonly leads to hemolytic disease of the fetus and the newborn, and is commonly associated with Russia's D negative. In this study, we established the presence of these antibodies in both the Russia's D negative and Russia's D positive women, and related risk factors leading to this allo immunization. A total of 726 pregnant women attending antenatal care in the four health facilities in Kasi District, Western Uganda, were recruited into the study. 12.1% of the participants were positive to globulin test, and of these, 14.8% were RSSD negative. Thus, 85.2% were RSSD positive. Now, complications in the current pregnancy included abortion, stillbirth, postpartum hemorrhage, malaria, and HIV. So now, using univariate and multivariate analysis, we found Russia's D immunization having an association with abortion, stillbirth, postpartum hemorrhage, with a p-value less than 0.5%. There is therefore need to routinely carry out antenatal blood grouping and indirect globulin test screening on pregnant women in Uganda to detect anti D immunization. Given a high prevalence of anti D antibodies formation among Russia D positive, we recommend additional research studies on the role of autoimmunity among antigen positive women, the prevalence of Russia D variants, plus their implications on hemolytic disease of the fetus and the newborn in Uganda.